Why? You have not done your homework again. It is not about homework. Huh? Then why are you panicking? Can't you see Somu standing right there? Huh? So? Somu is checking hair and nails. He had asked me to get a haircut day before. And I forgot. He will surely take me to the headmaster today. Gopi! Oh, yo! You can't afford trouble with Somu. Pray hard. As Gopi approaches Somu, Gopi tries to look confident and walks straight. Hey, you there. Where do you think you're going with your long hair, mister? <laughs> um, uh, how are you, Somu? I asked you to get your hair cut last week only. What is this? You have no respect for my words, is it? Come to the headmaster's room with me right now. No, 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 no. I, I do respect you and I did go to the barber shop. <laughs> uh, you know Babu? The barber? <laughs> he sent me back saying my hair has not grown enough. <laughs> huh? What? Liar! No barber in this world will say such a thing. You better come with me right now. Hey, hey, look, look, why does Shilpa have that red color on her hand? How is that allowed? Why don't you catch her? Huh? This red color is called Alta. I had put it on as I had a dance performance over the weekend. Hmm, it'll take a few days to fade away. I have already informed the headmaster about it, okay? Okay, okay. Stop wasting my time. Let's go to the headmaster. Come. Oh, yo, Somu, Somu, please, please. <laughs> please give me one more day. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday. I will get my hair cut. I promise. Mm, okay. Stop crying now. I want your hair cut by Monday. It's lunch hour. And as usual, children gathered around the tree at the center of the school's playground to have lunch. Gopi is busy inspecting what his friends have for lunch. Upma again! It has been over a week since you got puris. Huh? <laughs> Gopi, how can you be worried what Nasir has for lunch? Remember what happened this morning? If I were in your place, I would be shivering. Yeah, it was a narrow escape for me today. I don't want to go back to meet the headmaster. Ha, huh, I will get my hair cut. Gopi, I will come along with you. Anyway, my hair has grown and I better cut it before Somu spots it. Let's go tomorrow morning. How about 7 a.m.? It's 7 a.m. and Mani walks into Gopi's house. He finds Gopi's father watering the plants in the garden. Good morning, uncle. Ah, Mani. Good morning, good morning. I'm here to go for a haircut with Gopi. Ah, with Gopi? But you need to put some sense into him, don't you think? He's still sleeping. A bit annoyed, Mani barges into Gopi's room and kicks him. <coughs> hey, Gopi! It's 7 a.m. and we're supposed to leave for the barber shop. I don't want to waste my Saturday waiting there. <coughs> yes, yes. Huh? It is seven already. Okay, okay. Uh, give me five minutes. I'll freshen up. While Mani waits impatiently, Gopi quickly freshens up and is ready to leave in a split second. Mm -mm. Hey, now what? Gopi, along with wasting time, do you want to waste electricity? Who will switch off the fan and light? Just yesterday in school, they spoke about saving electricity and all the small things you can do at home to save energy. Mani, I just woke up. Stop kicking and lecturing me early in the morning. I don't want to ruin my day. Good job, Mani. You managed to get him up already. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, uncle. Both the boys walked towards the barber shop. Mani and Gopi reach the barber shop. The shop is crowded. Mani walks up to Babu, the barber. Babu uncle, how much time should we wait? Mm -hmm. It'll take 30 minutes. Why don't you go and sit down? Mm, I would have slept a little longer. Yes. And if we had come later, we would have to wait for one hour. Don't you know it's a Saturday? 
it will only get more crowded an elderly man walks into the shop hey gopi this man looks familiar is he anu's uncle from dubai yes that's rao uncle remember last year he had got anu so many gifts from dubai as the man walks in babu immediately gives him a chair and starts to cut his hair ha huh? this is so unfair just because he's from dubai there is no waiting for him but we have to wait for 30 minutes i won't tolerate this injustice i will fight says gopi as he marches towards babu but looking at the tools in babu's hands gopi mellows down and asks rather softly <laughs> um uh, uncle he just walked in why no waiting for him rao uncle sees gopi complaining but keeps quiet and smiles to himself are he had come yesterday to inform me that he'll be here at 7:30 am for his hair cut um he doesn't have to wait that way he's traveling back today why don't you sit quietly and wait your chance gopi you put up a very brave fight against injustice <laughs> that will be rupees 15 for the hacker gopi and mani looked into each other and slowly pulled out the 10 rupee note they had in their pockets this is injustice i have to fight again uncle i was here 2 months ago and you charged me 10 rupees for the hair cut just because he is from a foreign country you are charging him more hmm i agree i do remember coming here last year and paying rupees 10 for a hair cut lots of things have changed over the last one year in solva i'm paying higher rent for my shop i'm paying higher salaries to my boys electricity bills have increased too and so has the cost of shaving cream and razors i can no longer afford the same service by charging just 10 rupees i'm forced to charge more ha ah, okay so that explains it i see inflation has caught up in solva as well ha huh? who has caught up <laughs> inflation a few things in life don't change and a few do you see sharma uncle's tea shop outside whenever i visit solva i always make it a point to have tea at his shop 10 years ago tea used to be 2 rupees but for the same refreshing tea now he charges 6 rupees or take uh, murthy uncle's departmental store 10 years ago one could buy groceries for the entire month for 150 rupees but now um it costs a lot more over time the cost of things generally tends to increase and that is called inflation what you can buy for 5 rupees today you can't buy the same thing in a few years and that's the reason why babu uncle over here is charging a little more for the haircut Hey my father keeps telling me that he could buy a dosa for just 1 rupee when he was in college now we you get nothing for 1 rupee is this inflation too yes exactly that is inflation too this inflation sounds like injustice can't we fight that <laughs> gopi today everything seems like an injustice to you <laughs> no gopi Inflation is not an injustice. It's natural and happens to everything, be it tea, groceries, electricity, clothes, or well, even a haircut. But yes, too much inflation is not good, and it's the government's job to actually control it. I have a question. Even if the government controls inflation, inflation will still exist, right? That means things will only get expensive over time. Uh, how do I manage? I can't keep increasing the prices forever. Well, Babu, while the government tries to control inflation, you will also have to do your bit to manage inflation. 
द ईजिएस्ट थिंग टू डू इज इन्वेस्ट योर मनी सो इट ग्रोज ओवर टाइम But maybe we can talk about that next time. I know something that has too much inflation. Oh really? What is it? My hair. It was so short last month, and now increased in length so quickly. Gopi, that is easy inflation for you to control. <laughs> you can go bald. <laughs> <laughs>